girl with Cindy and Barbie and we are back with another video before we even get into this video you already know what's up you already know what it is you should have already done it but if you haven't like comment subscribe all that good jazz if you want to keep up with me because I don't post that often I'm getting a lot better at it but until I do go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss a video also click that notification bell if you guys want to keep in touch with me like I said before, I don't post that often, but until I can get back into the groove, go ahead and click that bell so you'll be notified. So enough of the chit chat, let's get right into this video. So today's video is going to be a skincare haul and I'm super excited only because I used up all my other products and I needed some new products. So as I told you guys before, I have been trying to switch most of my products out to Korean skincare type products because I'm really interested in Korean skincare. Your skin is so pretty, like your skin is so gorgeous. And I've been trying to achieve that same like glass-like look to my skin. So I've been buying, <laughs> buying, buying Korean skincare. So I've been buying Korean-owned skincare just to like you know achieve that glassy look. So most of my products are Korean skincare brand. I think maybe only one isn't. So I went ahead and I ordered some things from Ulta. Only because a lot of the skincare brands, the Korean skincare brands that I see on the website, they're only online. They're not in store. The only thing I can think of that's in store Korean owned skin brand rise is the Kors X and the Peach Slices. And I think Peach and Lily. But I think most of them are online only. And I also ordered some things off of Amazon. And I'm super excited because I just love skincare. Like, I'm so so excited about skincare so i'm so happy to show you guys these products so let's just get into them i'm i'm still talking let's just get into them so i'm going to start with the amazon products first because i only have three amazon products and the first product i'm going to show you guys you guys have seen this before in my other haul if you guys have not seen it i'm going to link that video down below because you're going to catch that video this is the um, nivea uv filter water sunscreen and as i told you guys before when i bought this I love it so much. This sunscreen is amazing. And I just love the way it feels mostly. The feel of this sunscreen on my skin is so amazing. When I tell you guys, this is the favorite part of my routine. Just me putting on my sunscreen. This, that's like one of the favorite parts of my routine. But yeah, not too much on the sunscreen because I've already talked about it. So the next product that I got from Amazon, the Korean product that I got from Amazon, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, there we go. The rice toner. And I actually got this product because my cousin came down here recently for Easter and she was using this rice toner and I tried it twice and I actually really liked it. Like I liked it. I like the consistency and rice is really good for brightening your skin. It says that it's 77.78 rice extract from Korea and it's like an essence with niacinamide and it's vegan too. If you guys are for vegan products, it's vegan as well. And... And yeah, like I'm super excited to use this. The best product I got from Amazon is Soul Cuticles. There we go, Soul Cuticles. And this is the multifunction all-in-one anti-aging snail repair cream. And I told you guys recently in my past couple of videos that I'm really interested in snail and skincare. It sounds a little weird, but like after I started using the Kors X, the snail museum, the um serum as i started using that i was in love with with snail skincare products so this product says that it has vitamin e vitamin b5 and organic green tea which is all super great for your skin so this is basically considered an all-in-one face cream so what i saw online it said it's like anti-aging hydrating it claims it's supposed to get rid of hyperpigmentation too we'll see but this is my first time ordering from their brand so if i do like this um cream I'm, i might repurchase this the one thing i can say i didn't know about this product it has retinol in it and retinol is probably the like 13th 14th ingredient i'm not about to count but i didn't know this had retinol in it before i bought it so i'm kind of like nervous about that because i do have like a retinol that i do use which i'm going to show you guys in a little bit 
but I do have a retinol that I do use already. So I didn't want to add too much retinol and too much over exfoliation into my skin because I didn't want to mess my skin up essentially. Yeah, I'm going to try this product with my retinol. If I do see like any skin concerns, I'm going to stop using it every night with the retinol. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to get into the Ulta products that I did buy online. Start this one off with the Rice Wash Off Mask from Skin Food. This is another repurchase. And I repurchased this because it's such a nice moisture, not moisturizer, but nice exfoliator. I've been looking for a nice gentle exfoliator for a while. One that exfoliated, but still like, you know, it wasn't too harsh on my skin. So I wanted to buy something a little bit more gentler, but I know it still works. And I use this product in its entirety and I really do enjoy it. And even when I'm using it, it has like, I think it has like rice actually in it because there's something in it that like when I scrub it into my skin, it's kind of like, it's exfoliating, but it's not like a harsh exfoliant. But this stuff really does work. And I feel like it helped with my hyperpigmentation as well. So that's why I rebought it because I liked it so much the first time. The next product I have is the it's from Skin Food as well. Um, Skin Food Egg White Pore Cleanser Cleansing Foam. It says it's a refreshing pore cleansing foam that neatly removes heavy makeup and thoroughly eliminates sebum and impurities and pores while creating smooth and even skin. And eggs are really good in um, helping, especially with oily skin, because I have oily skin. So eggs are really good for like kind of essentially tightening your pores or cleansing your pores out because your pores don't open and close. They're the same size, but there is like oils and debris and impurities that get into your pores, which make them appear larger. But this just cleanses it all out. Egg cleanses it all out. So I'm super excited to use this. So the next product that I have is a new company, not really new, but I haven't seen it before on Ulta. The I Do Care, I D E W Do Care Roll with Tea Tree. And it's like a roll on face oil with tea tree in it. And it was for, it's for acne and like acne bumps. This is really reminiscent or similar to the um, Burt's Bees. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to post it right here. The Burt's Bees, they had a, um, a roll ball on like tea tree, witch hazel kind of like serum you can put on your skin to get rid of acne. And I used that a lot and I loved it, but I can't find it anymore in stores. So this is pretty similar to that product. That's why I bought it. It's a blended face oil with tea tree leaf oil. It absorbs quickly, leaving your skin feeling refreshed, smooth, and radiant. So it has 4% um, tea tree leaf oil, apple seed oil, and camellia seed oil. So it's supposed to be really... It's supposed to get rid of your acne, but it's supposed to be super kind of nourishing. The thing about it is though, it says um, apply three to five times throughout the day. I don't know how great it works if I have to apply it three to five times a day. I just don't know. So we'll see about that. So the next product I have is the Peach Slices, the Acne Spot Dots. And I recently got into Acne Spot Dots like earlier this year. I love them now because they help with my acne. They help with bringing the acne to a head, a white head, so I can extract it. So I'm really, I really like these, um, not this specific brand. I tried Cores X, but I'm trying this brand for the first time. And it's just like a medical grade rapid action for visible blemishes. So it's supposed to absorb, protect, and heal. And it's supposed to um, protect your skin as well from outside irritants, like, you know, rubbing your skin against your pillow or irritants in the air or like, you know, like toxic, like whatever. And it comes with 60 patches, different sizes. So this product is cruelty free and vegan as well, if you're interested in that. But I just wanted to try these out because they were super cheap as well. They're like $5 for 60, um, for 60 of these. But when I went to Coors X, I think I bought like, how many did I buy? I think I bought a hundred for like $19, $19-$20. And I honestly feel like this is a better price. I don't know if it works better, but we're gonna see. So the next product I have is from the actual Ulta store. And this one's not a Korean skincare brand item because this is retinol. And I've been using retinol for a while, but I haven't been able to find like a retinol Korean brand. Yeah, until I find like a Korean brand retinol, I'm just sticking with like 
regular retinols until I can find one. Urban Skin RX, the retinol dark spot treatment. And this is my first time actually using this product because I've heard a lot of good things about Urban Skin RX, but I haven't tried it. It is black owned if you guys are interested in that. It says it has um, clear tone advanced technology. I don't know what that is. Let's see. So clear phone, clear tone advanced technology. It has azelaic acid, kojak acid, niacinamide, l glutathion alpha arbitrin so those products are really good for helping with hyperpigmentation and dark spots and evening your skin tone and that's the name of the game because as you guys as i said before you guys can't tell but i've been having some really bad hyperpigmentation problems and so i'm hoping this will fix it so i normally use the inky list the retinol for the inky list but I've been getting kind of tired of it because I feel like it's not really doing anything for my skin anymore. And I wanted something a little bit more stronger that would help get rid of the hyperpigmentation faster. So I was just looking online. I saw this on Ulta. So I went ahead and I got it. And it's advanced strength for stubborn dark marks as well. So we're going to see how this goes. That's why I was a little bit nervous about getting my um, retinol because I didn't know that the other product I showed before, the Snail Museum Moisturizer, I didn't know they had retinol in it. So hopefully that doesn't really mess with my skin when I use it in conjunction with this. But as I said before, I'm going to use these together and if I see any difference, I'm just going to go to that other moisturizer that I'm going to use. But yes, it is my video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support and I appreciate everybody. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.